Hello and welcome to ATU Libraries. In this short video, we're going to have a look at ebooks on the ATU Library Catalogue. And in this example, we're going to look at ebooks from the Galway Mayo Catalogue. But likewise, the Sligo and Donegal Catalogues will also have ebooks that are very similar to these. Once you bring up the catalog page, you can go and do a search by keyword or by author if you know the author or by title if you know the title. When you get a set of search results, you can focus solely on ebooks by using the filter on the left hand side. You can also narrow down by date if you so wish and eliminate some older material if it's not of pertinence to your subject. All our ebooks on our catalogue will have a green full text button which you can link to to go directly to the text of the ebook. This example is on the EBSCO platform and most of our ebooks will look like this. The cover will come up initially and you can scroll through the entire contents, read the ebook cover to cover from here or use the navigation on the left for the table of contents or the sections and bring yourself directly to the required reading. You can also enlarge the text or make it full screen if you so wish. For further personalization features such as saving this for a future use, you need to be signed into your account on ATU. Please do so on the top of the screen and we would recommend you do this initially before you start searching. Once signed in, you can save the entire ebook into your personal folder to come back to again, or you can download or save or print certain pages or chapters for use off-site or offline. Each ebook will vary as to the amount of pages you can download or print. And it will usually tell you this when you select that option. You also have a citation option with this one. You can select the style you require or scroll through the list of styles on offer and just copy and paste that citation into your references for our future use. There's also the option in this case to download the ebook for seven days. Looking at another example, this one is on the ProQuest eBook Central platform. Once you click on Read Online, you will be brought to a familiar page with the cover. And likewise, you will see the contents page on your left hand side, the chapters and sections all navigable and linked to. You have further retrieval options up on top, such as downloading. Again, you do need to be logged in as a student to do this. And in this case, you'll see it's a one day loan that's available. That is not up to the library. It is the publisher that set these restrictions. Also, we recommend for downloading ebooks from any platform that you get the Adobe Digital Editions app enabled on your device, and that will allow you to read the ebooks offline. Also, you can highlight sections or add notes as personal features once you have once you're logged into your own account. And these will only be available for you to view. Nobody else will see them. There's also the option to bookmark sections so that you can return to them easily. We we'll now look at a few examples of ebooks that are on a few different platforms, but most of our ebooks are on either of those ProQuest or EBSCO platforms. This one is on the Cambridge platform. And in this case, you will just have to look at each chapter individually and you open them by selecting on PDF here. You'll see you also have an export citation and there is a download option on the left hand side. This next ebook is from the Bloomsbury platform. In this case, it will bring up the list of contents first. And if you select a particular section, it will bring you directly there. But you will see on the left hand side where it is in context with the rest of the book. You 
you will also notice your retrieval options on the top here, save, download, print and site. This next one is on the JSTOR platform. And by now, I'm sure you're familiar with looking at the chapters listed out, selecting a chapter, and it comes up for you to view. You will see you have your text enlargement options and your full screen here also. This next one is a Taylor and Francis ebook. Each chapter is available to download individually. And this can be very useful for you if your lecturer is referencing specific chapters of ebooks to look at. And this final one is on the Science Direct platform. Again, it separated out by chapter, but it is a little bit more interactive. And in when you're finished viewing the PDF of the chapter, you will see a recommendation of other items available on this service that you can also view also have the download options and the print options. And that brings us to the end of our journey through some of the ATU Library eBooks. I hope you found it of use and thank you for watching.